Stay for dinner? I couldn't possibly. <laughs> well, if you insist. You can't. I'm cooking for McCoy Whitman. Wow, for once I'm saying that and it's actually true. <laughs> you serve the most trusted man in news and then it hit me. <laughs> Beef bourguignon. What are you doing? <laughs> Cooking food only smart people can pronounce in your fancy apartment with books full of words in them? He's gonna think you're you. Is that what you want? Cause it ain't what he wants. You're right, I'm not supposed to be smart. What, what do I do? Okay, okay, I'm your wingman, all right? Let me just take care of this. Let me see. <laughs> wingman, sing man, ding man, bing bang bong man, I got it. He already thinks I'm a smarty, okay? I'll say this is my apartment and that I cook the meal. And you sometimes use this place. He'll see me put the finishing touches on the meal. Browning the shallots in butter and garlic and adding it in. <laughs> if that's a thing, sure. <laughs> and then I'll serve it and I'll leave. Okay, well, what about me? How am I supposed to be this person he thinks I am? All you have to do is act. Think of someone fun and frivolous, maybe a little bit dim, and become that person. <laughs> you know anybody like that? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Okay, anybody I know? Clearly not. Okay, you know you're making a really ugly face right now. Last roll. Would you like to share? I always like to share. Whoa! <laughs> you do not disappoint. <laughs> you know, I hate to drop names, but Cher and I have homes right next to each other in Brazil. Giselle Bunch and Brady, I love Brazil! <laughs> I love their wax, I love their nuts, I love the way they wax their nuts. <laughs> I just realized I never asked what you do for a living. Or is your job just being cute? Being cute's my side hustle. <laughs> but my dream is to bring back my one-man show. Watch Will. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with sports, weather, and 2% body fat. <laughs> yeah, news jokes are kind of my thing. <laughs> You've been imitating me. Jack, I'm sorry. I told you to think of someone fun, frivolous, and dim, and you picked me. Well, I'm working so hard to land this guy. I didn't no, intend to- stop. I have never, in my 34 years, <laughs> been so deeply, deeply flattered. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you say? You could have chosen anybody to be that hottie's ultimate boy toy, and you picked me. And that means so much. I, I was afraid you'd be offended. Offended, question mark? <laughs> I am engaged, exclam, exclam. <laughs> Estefan and I are completely monogamish. get to have these kind of fun flings anymore. I desperately need you to go bag and tag that buck while being me. Oh, so that way you can, you can have sex with him vicariously. I don't know that word. Vicariously. And neither do you. Right, right. I, it's hard to keep track of what I don't know. It's pretty much everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, now, we need you, who's really me, to come up with a good reason to get rid of me, who's really you. Huh. Okay, let's see, let's see. Reason. Reason, beason. Pleasin, treason, sneezing. Yes, when I think it's time for you to go, I'll signal you by sneezing. Okay. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna have sex with McCoy Whitman through you. Later, when we tell this story, let's use different words. Uh -huh.